Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I'm your host, Bastion. I do not have an intro, but I do have a story that has no punchline, so I don't know where I'm putting this one. If it's going to be my regular YouTube or if it's going to be Patreon only, we'll find out. But basically, as I was looking through, I have a list of all of the 40 plus videos that I want to make that's in this story time sort of uh, theme. And one of these videos doesn't really have a punchline. It doesn't really have a clickbaity kind of title. There's no like bow that I can tie up and say, and that's what that was about. It's just like, you know, with previous ones, it's like my first boyfriend who was an alcoholic. That's compelling because it's like, uh oh, his boyfriend was an alcoholic or, you know, whatever. The time I dated that Marine. Oh, a Marine. Okay, that's interesting. This one is just, I dated a guy who worked at a Banana Republic, but we found out we were more friends than romantic partners, so we just weren't. <laughs> Not a very interesting um, punchline, but the story itself is interesting, but I have no idea what I would title it. So anyways, I'm babbling about titles because i that's what I'm mostly concerned about right now. I have no idea where I'm putting it or what I'm calling it, but I'll figure that out later. That's not your responsibility. So anyway, I have no idea what to call this guy. We're gonna call him M. Uh, anyway, so I'm still working at the bookstore and this is the one that's in downtown Portland, so the new location. And I've already had that experience with that W guy. And in fact, these overlap. I told you about um, M in that video about W, where I W is coming into my place and he sees me chatting with this other guy, uh, M. And he's like, oh, who? after M leaves, he's like, who's that guy? And it's clear W is very into M because M is very attractive. Um, he, he, I think is Hawaiian or I'm not quite sure what his ethnicity was, but he was kind of, you know, exotic looking, but also very muscular, but also very, very, very obviously gay, which is not my personal taste. Um, so, you know, he was a stereotype basically, which again, not my, not my particular type, but regardless, uh, I was very attracted to his body and he had a fun personality. He was a fun guy, um, a little too fun as it turns out and we'll get to that. Um, but anyway, so, so I can't remember exactly how I met M except W, M, X number two and I we're all incestuously working at the same mall, and uh, that must have been how I met M, although I cannot remember our first interaction or anything like that. Like, I have no clue. It certainly wasn't on an app or anything, I don't think. Um, so anyway, or it could have been, I don't know. I honestly can't remember. It's just awfully coincidental if it was, because it's like, oh, we both work at this place. And also this is before this not to date me and make me sound super old, but I am, and this is before um, apps were a thing. I did not have a smartphone at this point in time, so this would have been a computer uh, thing before apps. So anyways, it doesn't matter. The point is, M and I meet, and we're like enjoying each other's company, and uh, and I he seems super smitten with me. I was pretty smitten with him. Again, his personality type was kind of confusing for me because he was extremely flamboyant, which is not my type, but he was fun and nice and complimentary of me. And, and but he, complimentary in that sassy gay friend kind of way, which I also kind of don't like, but can be fun if it's just platonic. But if it's romantic, it's like, even if it's platonic, it's kind of annoying. Anyways, I'm bad. So, M and I arranged our first date, which was not a date. And just to be 100% clear here, because there was some confusion with the Marine video, this was completely casual. Neither of us had any romantic boyfriend sort of expectations. This was just strictly casual. Uh, that was, there was some confusion there. Somebody accused me of cheating on the Marine guy. And I was like, what, cheat? The, the Marine and I were not in, I could not possibly cheat on him because we weren't in a relationship. So um, anyway, with M, it was even more like, this is just casual. I think he even stated that up front. Uh, they, 
was not looking for a relationship. He had just gotten out of a relationship. And so we, I had to go all the way over to his place, which was on the opposite side of town. And he lived with his sister, but his sister was going to be gone that day over at her boyfriend's or something like that. And he was really into sex and the city. It took me forever to learn that it's not sex in the city. And it's a fine show. I, I had at that point never seen an episode of it, but he was like really into it. So we watched a bazillion episodes of that before. And I think actually on our first time, we just watched it and went to sleep and that was it. Um, I think when we woke up, yes, when we woke up, things got a little heated. Uh, and then I feel like our second and third date, again, these weren't really dates, these were just casual encounters, um, were all very similar, where we would just go over to his place and watch a movie or something, or more episodes of that show, and then stuff would happen. And then, but also the strange part about it is, since we both worked in the same mall, we'd also spend all of our time together breaks. We he would like text me and be like, hey, when's your break? And so we'd, sh you know, go on our breaks together to like get coffee or lunch or whatever. Um, but we were also seeing other people at the same time. But I honestly, even though he was a bit extra for me, I was developing some kind of feelings for him. And this was right around my birthday and he gave me a birthday present and I was like, huh, this is kind of interesting. But also around Christmas, I gave him a book for Christmas, the actual Sex and the City book. Uh, because in case you didn't know, that show was based on a book, even though apparently they have nothing really to do with each other. Eventually I did start to feel like, could this be going somewhere? And I tried to have that talk with him and he was kind of not super tactful. I remember we were on an escalator in the mall and he was kind of not super tactful. He was like, I have a lot of fun with you and I really like you, but you're not the kind of guy that I want to end up in a relationship with. Somehow I always end up hanging out with guys like you and guys like me at that point in time, by the way, was a twink. I was very, very small, almost no muscle whatsoever. Um, and I'm just really looking for, and what he described is hilariously what I am now. <laughs> And, uh, huh, that's interesting. I wonder if that had anything to do with my, uh, my body goals for what I wanted to end up looking like. I don't know. Anyway, so anyways, he was describing, like, this is the kind of guy that I want to end up in a relationship, and that's not you. And I was like, okay, well, that's rude, but, you know, at least it's straightforward and honest, so I gotta give him points for that. And, but he still kept pestering me to, to hook up, basically, and that was kind of annoying. Um, and, uh, anyway, so I started seeing this other fellow and that will probably be in the next video or the video after that and he m uh got very territorial out of nowhere and was being really sassy and it was less fun and more rude um because he clearly even though he didn't want to be in a relationship with me he i feel like felt like he had dibs on me in a weird kind of way and so anyways he was he just started getting really, really rude. And uh, anyway, and so then I, the thing that did it for me, and there's no way this can be in the G-rated YouTube version. So I'm gonna have to fast forward through this part for sure. So anyways, I think that is literally the last time that he and I ever spoke. Because again, it was clear to me that whatever he was saying, that no, he did not want to be in a relationship with me, and that may have been the case, he still felt some kind of way that made it difficult for him to maintain a friendship with me when I was seeing other people. So he started becoming rude and antagonistic and stuff uh, manifested out of that. So whatever. Um, so our friendship just kind of died at that point. Um, and we did communicate here and there over the years. And this was so long ago that there's been plenty of years and plenty of interesting ups and downs and things. Um, never to any super deep degree, but I shouldn't be telling his story, but basically what ended up happening to the poor guy is he ended up finding exactly who he was describing to me, this very 
um, he was kind of looking for a daddy, right? And I was a twink at that point in time. So he ended up finding this bearded, muscular, tall uh, daddy. And I don't think I've made it crystal clear just how great M's body was. Like he was very muscular, um, suspiciously muscular uh, for such a young age. And I was not, I was a twink. And um, so anyways, he ended up finding somebody even bigger than him, which is what he was looking for, obviously. And, you know, bearded and hairy, and he, he was looking for a, a hairy daddy, basically, a muscular hairy daddy. And he found that, and the guy had some prestige. The guy was the host of some show. I don't know what it was. It was, he moved to LA, basically, and he was like the host of one of those, like, E entertainment kind of shows or entertainment tonight or something like that um and then it was like oh great everything's working out for you and um and then like a year or two passed and i was very happy for him and then out of nowhere uh i was single and i was on an app and there he is and i'm like oh hey how's it going and he was like not great i'm moving back to Portland, well not Portland, but a suburb of Portland, and I was like, oh no, what happened? And he was like, it's really awful. Um, basically, if I'm remembering, the, again, I shouldn't be telling his story, but you don't know who he is, and so it's not gonna matter, but basically he was being physically and emotionally abused in this relationship, and like completely gaslit in all kinds of horrifying ways, and anyways, it's awful, I feel so bad for him. So, I really haven't chatted much with M since then. Um, I hope he's doing great. I hope he found somebody, you know, much better for him than, than that individual. Um, so anyways, that's that story. Again, I have no idea if I'm posting it on my regular YouTube or not. We'll find out. See you guys then. Bye guys.